Feral Khan Mercenary Squad has a new assignment. They must learn how to combine and form Feral Rex. The Surveiller watches from afar. However, when the battle escalates, Fellow Saber adds his power to the Feral Khan team. Hello, this is Sanadat here, and welcome back to Feral Rex Week. Today, on Day 6, Fellow Saber R07 Mercenary Surveillance. The original character from Ash Mind Creations, and our final component of Feral Rex. We've almost finished the week. Here we are, Fellow Saber's box, very similar to everybody else's. In fact, it's almost entirely the same in design, just with Fellow Saber pictures. And then there's a Fellow Saber inside instead of like another dude. So that's pretty neat. And of course, instruction comic book and his trading card. Now he actually includes two trading cards. The first here is Fellow Saber, and that is got his stats on the back here. He is skill uh, is his, his highest stat there. But he also includes a trading card for Feral Rex, which is really cool. I, I, I'm glad that this is included. Now we have a card of the components plus Feral Rex, which is really neat. And you can see there he's got 10 strength, 10 endurance, 10 courage, 9.5 firepower, 9, 8.5 skill, 6 intelligence, 6 cast, and 3 speed. 3 speed. But yes, we have a card for our combiner as well. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Fellow Saber. Here is Fellow Saber's Saber 2 Tiger Bode. Now, he does not have a Transformers Generation 1 counterpart, he's a brand new character. Just something Hasbro's Generations Combiner Wars line is doing, adding a new character to each team. And he is Mastermind Creation's own character. They did not use any pre-existing Transformers character to make this guy, which is super neat. Now he is primarily yellow, as Sabretooth Tigers primarily are more towards yellow than, say, orange. And he is a retool of Tigris, which we'll compare to in a minute. So that means he has all the same articulation as Tigris, which we just saw in yesterday's video. And he has a new head. I love the new head. He's got eyeglasses, which is really cool. Futuristic looking eyeglasses here, which look really nice. Plus his fangs, and you can open his mouth here, and he's got all kinds of teeth. So it looks really cool. Other than that, these little pieces here are new. And he looks really, really, really solid. Uh, I love his color scheme. Now, being a new character, he does have new weapons. First of all, he has one gun here. This is just the one gun, so we'll just plug it on here. And then you also get something that's really neat. It's a melee weapon for his robot mode, but it's actually designed to work with his beast mode. And that is this, this uh, battle armor. Very battle cat-like. And you can see that it has a couple fangs here. And you can just slide this on top, and now you've got even bigger saber tooth tiger tusks and fangs and it looks really nice plus with these on the back I love seeing him this way plus he has eyeballs here as opposed to the visor on the other head it completely covers the head but it's, it adds to the figure in a much different way than the other weapons do the other weapons just like ah oh, just plug weapons on this one actually is like here's a weapon we designed for beast mode which is really really neat other than that though that's pretty much all there is to fellow sabers uh, beast mode but let's compare him to tigris and then transform him into a robot much like Bovis and Fortis, Tigris and Fellow Saber do use the same mold. Now, unfortunately, Fellow Saber's differences from Tigris are a lot less. Uh, outside of being a different type of tiger, him being a saber tooth tiger as opposed to a regular tiger, you have overall just less differences uh, between the molds. There's no alternate transformation scheme, and overall, the biggest differences in the beast modes are the. Uh, cannon-like things here compared to the steel plates and the two head sculpts there. Plus the overall colors are different. The claws are the same on both figures, the legs are the same. Um, I can't really tell much other differences and that's partially to the idea of Fellow Saber to symmetricalize Feral Rex a bit. So it does work in that aspect but yeah it could have been nice to see some alternate transformation officially Yes, you can rotate this piece around if you'd like for a different kind of look, but this is kind of the official way of doing it, and I wish there was a little bit more differences there. But you can, like I said, rotate this guy around like this, and you can get a little bit better of a beast mode 
that's a little different, where he's got a giant plug on his back instead of, you know, smooth things. So there is that. Um, he can he can do that now. But that is an option. Uh, you can adjust him that way. You can even adjust the shoulders a bit better. But officially, it they're pretty much the same. Here is Fellow Saber in robot mode. He looks really sharp. I love the yellow and gray. It's a little different than the yellow and black of Fortis. It looks really nice. I love his head sculpt too. He's supposed to be an analyst or surveillant, so it's really neat. Plus, you notice that guy has blue eyes? This guy's actually what would be the Autobot in the Mastermind Creations universe. And he got kind of uh, wrapped up in the Feral Cons for plot reasons. And Overall, I think he looks really, really sharp. Now, I laid the claws down on this guy, because he's a fellow saber, um, so it really helps with that whole aspect. Um, but I also like the little red dots here. It's a neat little uh, inclusion. But overall, he looks really, really nice. Articulation is the same as Tigris. I don't want to go over it again. Um, it has already gone over it uh, once now, and it's very similar to Talon's, and it's very similar to everyone else. Pretty much has the same articulation. So, there is that. Now, in terms of size, here he is next to the Lux Transformer. As you can see, he towers over a Voyager class of sorts. Um, so that's pretty neat. Now, what's also pretty neat is his new weaponry. Now for weaponry, he does include a single concussion blaster, not to be confused with Leo Dux's concussion cannon. And it looks really nice. It's a nice little blaster. He only has one gun. Uh, the other Feral Cons, aside from Leo Duck's head, two each. So, kind of interesting there. But his other weapon is also really cool. His other weapon is the Gauntlet, uh, which is made from the helmet for the Beast Mode. It looks really nice. It actually uh, pegs into the claw in this little, there's a little slot here. You have to fold out a tab um, in order to get that to plug in properly. But it looks really sharp overall, and I love the blades in the back that are poseable slightly, so that's pretty neat. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. Much like Tigris, Fellow Saber comes with bonus parts for the other Feral Cons. Specifically, the alternate faces and red hooves for Bovis and Fortis. So you got two faces, one for Bovis, one for Fortis. These are the original heads on the original promotional art. You just need to remove the screw in the back of the head and replace them if you'd like. And you got the alternate hooves that are red for Bovis for those that wanted that design. And it's a neat inclusion to give these parts out as something for people to have if they wanted them. Personally, I like the black hooves on Bovis, but if you like the red ones, there you go. A really neat inclusion, a little bag of parts. I'm finding that to be quite awesome. You also get a sheet of uh, sticky 3M command type things uh, to apply to the bottom of the cannon feet. As you can see, you got two here and the two circle ones here. And these provide extra stability and friction, as when you add Fellow Saber to the combination, it weighs them down, and this provides a non-slip traction for the foot mode. So that's really, really nice as a neat inclusion to help balance out the figure. Now, if you all remember, Tigris had a bomb in his chest. So what does Fellow Saber have? Well, it's a little different. Um, it's actually a bonus inclusion. Uh, it's called a bonus minifigure, as inside here is a tiny penguin, a tiny robotic penguin, which happens to be the penguin from Mastermind Creations' logo. It's even got little articulated flippers, which is really neat. The legs can also move, but mine are a little stuck because of paint. I don't want to mess with it too much. But yes, they threw in, as a little bonus, a tiny penguin, which is on their logo, and I think that's a neat little inclusion, as this is their first original character. Here is their logo, immortalized into plastic, inside their original figure. It's a really neat thing. Plus, on the inside here is the copy uh, right info for Mastermind Creations. You can see their logo in there, and you can see that the penguin is in there. So that's pretty neat. It just stores up in his chest like this, and it f friggin' hides away. Overall, I gotta say that the, the chest bomb was a neat inclusion as it added character to Tigris. The penguin's just special for Mastermind Creations. Overall, Fella Saber is really neat. I think it's cool adding a new character to the Predica Predacon team and adding a new piece to Predaking because it's going to help out when we get to the combination. 
Now, he's very similar to Tigris, so there is that going for him. He is a retool. But, hey, he actually has enough new parts to make him different, specifically the heads. The heads are completely different, which is really, really nice. Plus, he's technically an Autobot, which is really cool. So overall, i got to say, I do like Fellow Saber quite a bit, and I would recommend him. Uh, he is a neat thing to have, especially when you have the other five Feral Cons. And that is all for Day 6 on Feral Rex Week, as tomorrow is the grand finale, where we finally combine these six Feral Cons into Feral Rex. But until then, be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for all of your Transformers news and more. Until next time, this is Sound saying, goodbye.